Peru is a country of history, culture, beauty, and adventure. With a full spectrum of possibilities for travelers, the ancient Inca city of Machu Picchu is one of the highlights of any trip to South America. But there is much more to discover throughout Peru. In today's video, we are going to explore the top 10 places to visit in Peru. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Number 10. Lima's Historic Center The historic center of Lima has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The city was created in the 1500s and while many of the original structures have been demolished, it still has historical significance and is a lovely site to visit. The main square, Plaza de Armas, the Plaza Mayor, in the center of Lima's historic area, is one of the most delightful locations to visit. Following the terrible earthquake of 1746, the bulk of the buildings were rebuilt. The church on the east side of the Plaza de Armas and the government palace, Palacio del Gobierno, on the north side are also notable landmarks. The Archbishop's Palace and the Casa del Oido are well worth seeing. Number 9. Puerto Maldonado and the Amazon Puerto Maldonado, a half-hour flight from Cusco, is a popular starting place for Amazon trips. With steamy, humid rainforest and the ability to witness all types of exotic species, this is an extremely and entirely different experience from what you'll find in other regions of Peru. In this section of the nation, you may expect to see caimans, capybaras, monkeys, parrots, turtles, and piranhas. The primary attractions are the Reserva Nacional Tambopata and the Parque Nacional Bahuaja Sonene, both of which are well served by a variety of jungle lodges. The rainforest lodges of the Reserva Nacional Tambopata are about a one-hour boat journey from Puerto Maldonado. Number 8. Arequipa Arequipa is frequently recognized as Peru's most beautiful city. At a height of almost 2,300 meters, the city core is declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Set against a background of snow-capped mountains, Arequipa's greatest claim to fame is the historic architecture, which is made of Silar stone, a volcanic rock with a vivid hue when exposed to the sun. The stone is used to construct the majority of the colonial buildings in the old city center, earning it the moniker White City. Arequipa is also a popular stepover for those planning to explore the Colca Canyon, the Canyon del Colca, which is about a four-hour journey away. Number 7. The Sacred Valley The Sacred Valley and the villages of Pisac, Urubamba, and Olante Tambo are less than an hour's drive north of Cusco. This verdant valley not only has several Inca ruins worth seeing, but it's also a calm place to walk around marketplaces and take up local culture. The Paisac Ruins, the Paisac Sunday Market, minor market days are held on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and the ruins and fortress at the charming tiny town of Olante Tambo are all must-sees in the valley. The village of Moray, with circular terracing utilized as an agricultural trial area by the Incas, and the salt mines at Salinas, which have been in use since the time of the Incas, are a little out of the way, but well worth the journey. Number 6. 
the Nazca Lines. The enigmatic Nazca Lines are an extraordinary sight that will leave you speechless. These massive pictures on the desert floor were unknown until planes passing over the region in the 1920s saw the lines and determined they formed unique patterns and images. The hillside paintings near Nazca and Paracas, which can be viewed at ground level, were known until that time. The massive designs on the flat desert floor, on the other hand, are so big that they require an overhead perspective to appreciate. 70 various plant and animal designs, as well as hundreds of lines and other geometrical forms may be seen from the air. Number 5. Colca Canyon Colca Canyon, Cayon del Colca, twice as deep as the Grand Canyon and twice as deep and adjacent Cotahuasi Canyon, was previously regarded to be the world's deepest canyon. A seismic fissure between two volcanoes created the canyon, which reaches a depth of 3,400 meters. A flowing river runs through the foot of the mountain. The Colagua, Cabana, and finally the Inca people lived in the Colca Canyon area for thousands of years. The stone terracing that runs along the canyon walls dates back to AD 800 and is still in use today. Number 4. Lake Titicaca Lake Titicaca is surrounded by undulating hills and typical tiny communities, and its water is a brilliant blue. The lake region has a unique combination of gorgeous beauty and culture that distinguishes it from other parts of the country. Lake Titicaca is the highest navigable lake in the world, standing at 3,820 meters above sea level. The best way to appreciate the lake is to take a boat tour to the islands and adjacent communities. The Euros floating islands, that is the Islas Flotantes, which support tiny villages of the Euros Indians, are one of the principal tourist attractions. Since the Inca's time, they are man-made islands built of reeds that have maintained a traditional way of life. Number 3. The Cusco Architectural Treasures Cusco streets are like walking through a museum, with history piled on top of history in this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Many of the wonderful old colonial houses along the narrow streets were built atop Inca ruins, illustrating the city's lengthy past. The Cathedral and La Compañía, two equally outstanding landmarks are located in the city center's principal plaza, Plaza de Armas. During the day, the square is an excellent site to start a walking tour, have a bite, or people watch. While there are other monuments and museums to see in Cusco, the Church of Santo Domingo, which sits atop the remains of the Inca city of Coricancha, is a must-see. Number 2. The Inca Trail Many people consider the Inca Trail a four-day journey that ends in Machu Picchu to be the highlight of their vacation to Peru. This beautiful trail is typically more difficult than many people imagine, but it is also more rewarding. The Inca Trail has several beginning sites, but the typical four-day journey begins at kilometer 82 of the Cusco Aguas Calientes train line. From here, the walk continues through stunning countryside and passes past more than 30 Inca ruins. The most challenging part of the trip is the second day, which includes a 1,200 meter elevation rise and two high passes. Number 1. Machu Picchu the spectacular Inca city of Machu Picchu perched high on a ridge 300 meters above the Urumbamba River is one of the most striking settings 
of a destroyed city anywhere in the world. The breathtaking backdrop of steep, lush and frequently cloud-shrouded mountains is almost as impressive as the ruins themselves. Standing at the caretaker's cabin, with a view of Machu Picchu, the jungle-covered mountains, and the river far below, it's easy to see why the Incas picked this location for their city. Hiram Bingham discovered Machu Picchu in 1911 and thought it was the lost city of the Incas. Originally chronicled by Spanish troops in the 1500s until his death. The diversity of the landscape, the people, and the experiences here make Peru one of the most unique destinations on the continent. Find the best places to visit with our list of the top tourist attractions in Peru. Give a like to this video and let us know in the comments which place you found the most interesting. Press the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and stay tuned for our next video.